I am Jason Abraham, the Shadow Teacher, 33, and I'm a believer in synchronicity, of information pouring in to us when our senses are open to an idea, when there's a lesson we need to learn, or when we're stepping into a new state of being. I believe we have angels, too, they're guardians. And the language of angels is synchronicity. Beings from another plane of existence that can influence our physical world but can't be here in this material realm with us. And I've been studying Gurdjieff's The Fourth Way recently. Again, this is a, a book by Gurdjieff and Ospensky, or, or a book by Maurice Nichol about the works of Gurdjieff and Ospensky that was reading, that was essential reading for a group that I trained with many years ago. And when I first read this book or started reading it, my consciousness could only take it to a certain point, but now I'm rereading this text, and so much of the lessons, so many of the lessons are really hitting me, hitting home at the heart. And much of the, the work that Gurdjieff refers to is the, the work of waking up, of man, of humanity, waking up from this roboticized mechanical state and awakening from a slumber and seeing things as they are, seeing themselves as they are, and stepping into a higher expression of being in this life. And the synchronicity I refer to is being led to the work of Dr. Joe Dispenza as well. His work has been very popular in the last five years or so, but it's quite similar to the work of, Gur of Gurdjieff in the Fourth Way. It's this concept of quantum thinking and quantum being and transcending the limitations of time, of mind, and the environment. Transcending the limitations of a false self so that one can step in to an expansive state of being. And Again, I find much of the, the sustenance of both teachings to be quite similar. Same practices, practice of meditation and reflection, understanding what puts us in a flow state, being able to transcend time by being present, ultimately learning what it means and feels like to be present and consciously working on that level of presence in our lives and being free again of the programs of the past and the fear of the future and being in the body being able to feel and being able to connect with the body as opposed to being a prisoner of it complaining about the body always being in a state of low energy, aches and pains. Another essential teaching of the work of Gurdjieff as well as Joe Dispenza. Environment. The people we're around. The places we go to every day. Understanding how our environment is impacting our per perception for better or for worse. It's either reinforcing a limited mechanical self or we're engaging with inspiring people who inspire our best in us, creativity, expansion, purpose. Places we go to, do we go and partake in environments that are polluted, that diminish our being, or are we able to get out in nature? Are we able to get out and connect with the natural world, feel connected with it. 
the living world? Is our environment alive or is it dead? And how does that affect us? These are the questions, again, that the reflective state that is inspired by Gurdjieff and Dr. Joe Dispenza. And when we reflect on these things, we have this reflective nature and we are able to see our own mechanical nature at, at a, a space and time. Not the innate nature of our soul, but the mechanical nature that we've taken on from our environment, from our past, from our bodies. Then we have an opportunity to be free of it. We have an opportunity to make different choices, to go different places. We have an opportunity to catch negative thinking when it shows up and stop it in its tracks before it festers within us and takes us on this downward spiral. Remember the Nine Inch Nails album, Downward Spiral. I was a teenager in the 90s and the music of the time, the rock music, was very depressing. It was very much a time, the zeitgeist of that time was escaping through numbing out the senses because life was painful. The movie Pump Up the Volume with Christian Slater that came out in 1990 set the tone of feeling not too thrilled to be in, a, in an exhausted decade where all the great themes had been used up and turned into theme parks. That's a quote from that movie Pump Up the Volume and that set that tone of negativity of the 90s. But now I'm a different place in my life and I see the karma of the downward spirals, the karma of negative thinking, and going back again to the fourth way and the works of Joe Dispenza. If we want to live a more expansive life, if we want to live in a higher potential, if we want to fulfill our purpose here, we can't allow negative thinking to derail us and become entrenched within ourselves too deeply. We have to cleanse the negative states that we've taken on. We have to cleanse trauma. We have to heal the identity we've taken on from the past, which again takes reflection and it takes clearing. And this is the work. Gurdjieff calls this the work. And it is work. It is indeed work. It's a great work. It's a great undertaking. But for one who values this higher level of expression, you have to do the work. You have to show up daily for the work. Part of my work right now is making these videos. Some days I don't want to do it. Some days my ego gets discouraged and gets caught up in subscribers and likes and engagement or lack thereof. And I'm called to do this work so I keep going. But there are days where I don't feel like doing it. And part of that work as well is sharing from an authentic place. Some people criticize me because I wear these sunglasses and have this caricature of the Shadow Teacher 33 that shows up in these videos, but it all comes from a place of authenticity. It all comes from something real within me and a calling to present and share in a certain way. Not to tell you what to do, not to tell you how to be, not to spoon feed you, but simply to share and stimulate thought, discussion, stimulate maybe a fire that may burn in you. So that being said, I'm going to go about doing my work and I wish all the best for those of you who watch this who are encouraged to do the same. So be well. I'll see you on the other side, my friends.